had a little accident uh, the other day with my Ferrari. Oh yeah, I heard. What happened? I took it to um, I took it to One Oak. I was very excited because I've never been to One Oak, and I always talk about it. It's a <laughs> nightclub. I don't care for nightclubs, but there's something about One Oak that's been wanting me to go there. Like I really want to go there. Just the name sounds cool. So someone was like, "Let's go to One Oak," and I was like, "Fuck yes!" It was Cinco de Mayo. Yeah, everything was going my way. I'm like, I'm ready to go. Um, and we drive by the front, and I know I know the front. The the valet costs so much, so I'm like, fuck it, I'm gonna park in the back. Yeah, like I have a Ferrari, but I still want to, you know, I want to keep the money that I earn. I don't want to waste it. Why aren't you valeting the Ferrari? So hold on, just listen. So that's, I go. That's the the right car, because with that car, you can say the great words that I've always wanted to say, or the valet will say the best words to you. Those three words. Keep it close, <laughs> and then you go. Yeah, keep it close. <laughs> That's my favorite. Whenever I see a guy in a Ferrari or a Lamborghini, they always say that. Let me keep it nearby. And the guy goes, yeah, please. <laughs> oh, it's so cool. Um, well, okay, I didn't. And uh, I pull- cheap little yeah, so slow I went, I went to the back. Yeah. <laughs> and I pull up in the back, and I'm like, fuck, there's a parking lot attendant here too, so it's going to cost a lot. And he goes, $100. There's self-park, $100. At One Oak? At One Oak. On Sunset? Yeah. Why? On, on a Monday night. Or some shit. I don't know. Or Sunday night. I don't know. Monday night. It was like a lame night. No one was there. And if you had come up in a Volvo, it would exactly. have been 10. It would have been 10 bucks. Wow. And I was like, I, I literally was like, no, 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 no. I was like, I, I, I'm not paying $100 to park. Like, this isn't even valet. I'm in the back. I'm in an alley right now. You're not going to charge me 100 bucks for this parking spot. Yeah. So I was like, fuck it. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. And then Stas walks, runs up, and she's like, no, 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 no. No, you're not, you're not going to argue about $100. She's like, let me talk to him. So she got it down to 60 <laughs> Oh After God. some master negotiating, so I'm like, "Fuck it, here's sixty bucks. Yeah. I want to enjoy my night. It's one oak. I'm going inside." Yeah. So I gave him sixty bucks, which is ridiculous to park. Yeah. That's that's a that's a flight to Alabama if I wanted to. Like now I can't see Alabama. Yeah, where are you? Dubai. Exactly. So I I, I park. I'm parking. He doesn't even take my car. He makes me self park, which is ridiculous. For sixty bucks, you should be lifting the car on your shoulders. Yeah. Um, and I'm parking. I pull it back into a spot, and I'm getting out of the car. And I go, okay, thank you. Do you want the keys or not? He's like, no, 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 no. Pull back more. Pull back more. And I'm like, fuck. Okay, I'll pull back more. And he goes, keep going, keep going, keep going. And then poof, I hit the back end of my car. Ooh. Yeah. And I fucking, I was like. <laughs> I wasn't mad because I don't get like mad in public because I'm just like, but I was fucking fuming inside. I was so angry. Yeah. And I was like, what happened? And he's like, it's nothing. It's just a muffler. And I go out and check and my entire like bottom end is just fucking destroyed. And I got, Is it underneath so you can't see it? No, you could see it because uh. it sticks out. And I got a quote for it and it'll be seven to $10,000 to replace. Just that bumper. Yeah. Alone. That, that fucking parking spot cost me seven to $10,000. Hang on. Insurance? No, I don't, because I, I would never pay. For, I never pay for it with my insurance. I don't want it on my Carfax. Well, now I guess everybody knows because I just told them I, I crashed my Ferrari. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I, but yeah, and then I went, and then I was like, "Fuck it, I'm still gonna have a good night even after I crashed it." Yeah. And then I went up to the one oak door, and one of the cops there was like, "Hey, hey, this guy's a camera. That's not cool, right?" And I, I, I know it's not cool to a have a cop. Yeah, a cop, a guy who didn't even work there, and it's like. And what's he doing? He said it a lot more assholeish than I just said it. And and I just got so like angry. I was like, okay, like you can tell me to not bring in my camera. I don't own this place. Like it, it's your rules. But like don't be an asshole to me about it. Just be like, hey man, I don't think we can have cameras in here. You said this to a cop? No, I didn't. I, mm-hmm. I, 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 I'm angry, but I never show that right, I'm angry. Right, I, just, right. I, I just keep quiet. Why is a cop deciding who can go into I One Oak and what they can bring know. in? And, Why isn't he, and he was solving like, a crime? And he was like, you can't bring that fucking camera in here. And I was like, I got so like thrown off. I just turned around and I left. I didn't even say goodbye to my friends. I'm like, this is, there's something telling me not to walk into this fucking club yeah. right now. And, and you uh, heard a tidal wave hit One Oak the other night. Yeah. Yeah. A tsunami. A tsunami was. Crashed. Bad, yeah. Crashed into One Oak. Um, yeah. So I left. I, I don't know. That was a pretty shitty night. Yeah. That sucks. Yeah. Well, whatever. Who cares? It's not a big deal. Um, no, one, no one got hurt. Crashed your Ferrari. The, You've had it a month. It's so, it's so interesting. But of course you did. Yeah. It always happens. If I have like a jacket that I really like. It always happens right I'll away. I'll lose it. It happens right, right away. away. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's not, not like a couple years down. It's like right away. Mm. So wait, wait, one more one more story about my Ferrari I have. Um, yeah. I was picking up my mom from the airport. Oh, she, yeah. She was visiting. Your mom's here. My mom's here, yeah. She was visiting. And so, so I was going to take the Ferrari because she told me she didn't have like a lot of bags. So I was like, that'll be fun. I don't think she's ever driven in one. 
So I, I, I pull up and there's no way to like not look like a douche pulling up in a Ferrari at the airport, at the airport where like 50 people are waiting to like pick up, get picked up uh-huh. by like a cab or an Uber. Yeah. I feel like such an asshole. Or the shuttle. Yeah. Or the shuttle. Like I just felt like the biggest douche and I get out to like hug my mom and, and help her with the bags and put them in the car yeah. and a $20 bill falls out of my pocket, like <laughs> on the floor and I'm walking back to my car. I don't even notice it. And a woman goes, "Excuse me, sir, you dropped, you dropped, you dropped some money." And I go, oh, "Okay, sorry." And I and I pick it up and I'm going back. And she's like, oh, "Sir, sir, there's more falling out of your pocket." <laughs> and there was there was three twenties that fell right out of my pocket after I picked up the first one. I looked like the biggest fucking douche in the world. I didn't even know what to say. I was just like, "I just went to Vegas." I fucking freak. I I, I felt so. It's almost like you were doing it on purpose to be like, "Hey, literally, literally I felt like such an ass." People aren't giving me enough attention with the. Ferrari, let me throw some money on the I curb. felt like I was filming a YouTube skit. Yes, like, yeah, yeah. Trying yeah. to get people's reaction. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah, and, and then I gave my mom a ride in it. Oh, my God, she was crying the entire time. She was? Yeah, she she hated it. <laughs> oh, I thought she was crying from joy. Like, oh. you, you, you own a Ferrari, David. Oh, no, How proud no. I am of you. No, she thinks I'm going to die in it. Um, oh, because you were, you were going fast. She doesn't like it, yeah. You were giving her the David ride. She's not a big fan, yeah. But, I mean, it's not for everybody. Well, <laughs> pretty nice. <laughs> I'm not sure. I got my wisdom teeth taken out the other day. Oh, you did? <laughs> yes, you were there. Oh, I and that. I got I got two others taken out like a year prior. Yeah. And he gave me the gas and I knocked out completely. Yeah. Like within seconds I knocked out. And it was only me and Liza there and the doctor. So I think it was like a lot calmer. Uh-huh. This time I brought all of you guys and I couldn't knock out. And like it, it like sent me to this like weird paralysis where I couldn't move, but I heard everything you guys were saying. Oh, really? Yeah, and I felt a lot of it, and it was really scary. It you did, felt I felt a lot on the teeth, the pain. It wasn't like no, it wasn't excruciating pain. Okay, like it wasn't at all, but I I, I felt I felt it. Like yeah. I, it was like it was like someone like someone like hitting me like with yeah. like a with like a hammer, but I'm not feeling sharp pain. I'm just feeling like the like the like the yeah, the, that, the pounding of it. That's how it was when I had mine. Yeah, so what, it wasn't anything I couldn't bear at all, but it was just so interesting because I was supposed to be knocked out, and you guys thought I was knocked out, right, for, for a little bit. You guys thought I was gone. Yeah, we were talking all about you saying horrible things. Yeah, and I was listening to fucking all of it. <laughs> yeah. And then I and then I found out... Um, I'm sorry I called you a pussy. That's, what? You did? <laughs> I missed that one. And then we got back home, and then I knocked out on my... I knocked out on on my bed and I went through my footage on my camera and there's just like random clips of Jason and my Ferrari butt naked. <laughs> and then there was another clip of, um, of Zane putting his asshole on my face <laughs> while I was sleeping. Yeah. Cause you're, you're knocked out and Natalie was like, we have to get clips. We have to do stuff to him. We have to draw dicks on his face. We've got to do something. <laughs> and, and I was like, Oh yeah, I guess you're right. So then I like took all my clothes off and got in your Ferrari, went down the one on one, and and Zane hung out the side of the window and shot me naked. Yeah, yeah, and you didn't even use it. Yeah, I didn't use it. I didn't want to give you guys the satisfaction. Well, let me tell you something. You've never felt freedom until you've driven a Ferrari naked. I believe you. I did see it. You looked like you were fucking having a. It was a blast. I'll tell you that cool breeze. It's kind of scary though because people. It's illegal to drive in California with a shirt off. I've heard. What? Yeah. So I don't. I, I, this is another fucking fact <laughs> that, that we probably brought made up. Brought to you by the Views Podcast. <laughs> we need to hire a fact checker. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. I heard it's illegal to drive without your shirt off. So it's like you could get really get. I mean, you were driving naked. Yeah. So imagine because a Ferrari draws the most attention, like the most for sure. So I'm surprised no one saw your junk or anything, and you're really low, so any big car can come right over you and look into your. Oh yeah, the truck yeah. driver came down and honked his horn. <laughs> he went, oh, oh.